this video, we will be talking about digital audio. Now seriously, we'll be talking about digital audio. First thing I'd like to talk about is sample rate. Sample rate, or the sample or sampling or rate frequency, defines the number of samples per unit of time, usually in seconds, taken from a continuous signal to make discrete signal. For the time domain signals, the unit sampling rate is a hertz, uh, sometimes noted as SAS or SS samplings per second. The reciprocal of, of the sampling frequency is a sample period or a sample integral. And there are some sampling theorems, uh, which basically say that, um, like the Nyquist-Shannon sampling theorem, which states that the perfect reconstruction of a signal is possible when the sampling frequency is greater than twice the maximum frequency of a signal being samplified, or equal, equivalently when the Nyquist frequency, half the sample rate, exceeds the highest frequency of the signal being sampled. Basically, it's a lot of music theory going with sample rate, but it also just means that, like, uh, sample rate is just how fast the audio is going through the different uh, um, uh, going through the different bars and making it so that uh, you can hear it more effectively. Now we'll talk about bit rate. Bit rate, bit rate is defined in a multiple different amount of ways. Uh, in the decimal prefixes it's kilobit per second, megabit per second, gigabit per second, and terabit per second. In the bi binary preferences it's Kibit per second, mibit per second, gigbit per second, and tibit per second. Um, in telecommunications and computing, bit rate, sometimes written as bit rate, um, is the number of bits that are conveyed and processed per unit of time. A bit rate is a quantified using the bits per second, bit, bit dash s unit, often in conjunction with the SI prefix, which is kilo, mega, or giga, or tera. Note that um, although the IEC 600272 standard finds a convention for computer data symbols and a base two exponents for binary multiples when describing a bit rate, the SI conversion of a best base 10 exponents for decimal multiples is traditionally used. A bit rate of 1 gigabit per second um, is equivalent to 1,000 bits per second, not 1,024 bits per second. Uppercase K is in K bit per second, should also never, never be used. The formal abbreviation of bits per second is bits per second, when um, in less formal context, the abbreviation BS or BPS are sometimes used, although these risk confusion with bytes per second and the abbreviation PS is also inconsistent with the SI symbol for picosecond. One byte compressed to eight bits per second. Next we'll be talking about MIDI boards. MIDI boards was broadly understood to be a good direction of MIDI or NPN keyboard. Um, and to some extent the term became synonymous with keyboards sold without sound synthesis during the later part of the 1980s to address the needs of performance artists who needed to master keyboard controlled racks of MIDI synthesizers modules, synthesizers without keyboards. A separation that was made possible by MIDI technology was the Kerwheel MIDI board featured wooden keys in response in, in, to respond like a piano, like uh, the Google one that was on there a couple months ago. The term MIDI board was coined by Jeff Tripp as an identifying mark for Key Concepts Master Keyboard Controller. Um, a keyboard technology license and the trademark was transferred to Kurzweil Music Systems as part of the sales and licensing agreement. A lot of electronic artists like to use MIDI boards because they have like a lot of uh, more manipulated control and can do whatever they want with them. And they can pretty much uh, essentially just kind of control what they want. And basically what you can do is, uh, as you can see, all these little different keys here, is that you can have uh, different tones. You can program it how you want and have different tones set for each of these keys or whatever. And then what you do is that you have all these different like knobs up here that can change the pitch and the synthesize and, and you can just do kind of whatever you want and you can just make a lot of like unique sound and stuff. It's, just, it's essentially used as like a tool that helps with like uh, um, electronic artists to produce um, some music so that they're um, able to make unique and different music from that of classic um, instruments. Um, all of this information was brought to you today by the IB information technology in a global society for the IP diploma by Stuart Gray. Thank you for watching my video. Please comment and subscribe. Uh, if you like this video, please just give me a thumbs up and I'd be really pleased. Have a great day. Uh, my name is Zach Steffen. Uh, uh, thanks for watching and see you next time. Uh, oh, and a shout out to my, my boy Matt Glover Productions. He, he makes some really great IT videos too. So uh, thanks man. That'd be great.